Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More SLEO speaking. Today I'm going to show you Flux Pro from Kalum Audio, a really fantastic, nice uh, modulation envelope that which uh, comes with a lot of effects and can really become handy when you want to enhance your audio. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So I'm inside the AUM, as you can see, and uh, I have already created an audio channel and I have uh, already inserted the Flux Pro. And let me show you what it looks like because the interface is really neat, really nice. The way that uh, the controls are actually organized within the screen is really, really, really good. Okay, and then in terms of setup, what I've done, I've uh, loaded progression here. I've just changed the freedom to two, to be wide. I generated uh, a uh, progression, a chord progression. I, I have enabled bass note and open chords as well here. Okay, and then I have connected, of course, that um, progression output port um, one to ISIM. So let's see. Uh, let's see what it sounds like without the um, flux flow uh, running. So let's click play. If you are interested, I have selected these beach light uh, preset inside ISIM. So I always recommend ISIM from Arturia, a really nice synth. Anyway, let's open up uh, Flux Pro. So lots of controls when you come in and first time you actually see it, but, but it is actually really simple to use. First of all, uh, starting from the top here, you have um, uh, MIDI input settings and you can have it as a retrigger or one shot. And I will create a tutorial to show that. Here you have preset, which you can choose from. And of course, I will use the init to show you the controls and how it works for this first tutorial. You can uh, add the later preset, you can save it, and you have undo, redo option, and then you have settings here, which is uh, this floating uh, window, which I will show you in a moment how it works as well. Here um, in the middle of the screen, you have a graph and you have three type of graphs, which you can use to modulate um, sources and parameters of effect. And you select them down here, A, B, and C. And as you can see, as default in the init preset, uh, graph B is the same as graph C. Let's focus on graph B. You can see here um, a curve, a sine wave, and you can click and drag on the different points and you can change the curvature, um, of course. I'm not going to explain the muffs behind in terms of how it changes the curves, but really nice. And you can also use the handle here to change the curvature. There you go. So really, really nice. Double click and you can create another point like so, wherever you like. Really nice. You can see also there are... Um, uh, there are grids here um, in the background, which um, if you go back to the settings here, you can decide how many grids you want. So you can uh, increase them uh, horizontally, uh, let's say eighth, and then you can do that also vertically as well. And that is, becomes really important because it allows you to actually then um, use this option up here, which are really, really powerful. The first one here allows you to create uh, um, points only with one click, really nice. The second one, this one here, allows you to um, delete them with only one click as well, really nice. Then the third one is actually snap to the grid point, like so, for, um, uh, for the different points here. And then you can also enable that for the control points here, for the curvature points as well to snap like so on the grid if you have these option enabled as well. So I'm going to disable them now. And of course you have additional option here to enable MIDI, control voltage, uh, which is really good and so on, which I will also cover in another tutorial. Okay, um, underneath here you have the selection of four different facts. You can only have uh, two visible at the time. So you can see the first one here, the second one here, and the other two which are compressed down on the right hand side here. You can click on the arrow to open them up like so, and then close them as well, like so. Then you can move them, click and drag here. You can move them around. You can enable and disable there as well. And then you can click here um, 
for each of the different effect slot and you can choose the effect that you like you have two type of filters delay with feedback delayed without feedback you have stereo with settings you have phaser chorus flanger you can change the diff rate as well the ring modulation and also some utility in terms of pan and gain really really nice Next, down here, you have, as I mentioned earlier, the settings for the three different graphs. And then for each one of them, you can choose the sync, which is the spread, okay, which you have it synced to the host or unsynced here, and you can go back to millisecond, depending on what you want. And then you have um, um, master parameters for pan, amplitude, and mix for all the three graphs. Now, the interesting um, features here, you have this button here, which contracts, is like multiplying um, by two every time the graphs you see at the top here and you can also expand it which of course you lose that uh, definition is like zooming in and then of course you can uh, um, delete with this button here the graph you have on the screen then right here you have delay which you can add as well in different duration press the plus sign and the minus sign in terms of much delay you want actually to in include and down, and down here on the right um, hand side at the bottom, you have a selection of shape. So you click on one and drag. And as you drag uh, up here, you can also move up and down. And it chooses the width of that um, uh, of the shape that you want to create. So for example, if I drag and drop this one here, and I make it like four, moving uh, um, down the cursor of the mouse or the fingers as you are holding on the screen, or pressing on the button of the mouse, you can actually decide um, the width of the particular uh, shape that you are positioning there, like so, which is really nice. You can also have side chain type of um, uh, shape, miscellaneous, and also your own one. So for example, you click on the plus sign and you add what you have on the screen down here, and then you click on the bin here to actually remove it as well. Um, you have also an um, option here to invert um, um, the shapes horizontally or also vertically as well. And in some cases, you find also a multitude of additional shapes here, which you can choose moving up and down with the scroll bar. Okay, so how do we use this? Well, first of all, let's choose an effect. So let's disable this one because I don't uh, want them on for now, these three effects here. Let's enable the first one. Yes, it is enabled. Let's go to utility and let's use a filter because it's the simplest and easier one. So as you can see here, you have um, um, this graph which has, um, has been applied as a modulation to the cutoff. You see this um, uh, these, uh, color here applied in terms and it gives you a percentage. If you want to double click on it and it goes back to zero. So there is no modulation. Indeed, if I click on play, And the reason that you don't hear much is because the cutoff here is down to zero. So let me increase it to maximum. Now, let's say that I was to move it down here. And of course, I can use it in real time as a play to decide what I want to modulate. sounds good I select the graph so in this case this one which is fine and then I click and hold and uh, I apply the percentage of modulation from graph A to the cutoff filter so let's play if you find that too fast change the sync here to a quarter want to apply a uh, graph B here to the resonance there so that's fine I select first graph B and then I apply a percentage of modulation to it And 
And of course, I can continue like that. I can activate another effect, another slot, sorry, and then I can choose an effect, for example, like um, Chorus and Flinger, really nice. And then I can say go to Graph C, which of course I can change as well, or I can use predefined shapes and uh, apply a modulation from that graph to, for example, why not? Let's do it for uh, the death and let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Now I can go uh, wild and I can choose different type of shape, of course. And uh, so let's scroll down under miscellaneous. This one is quite radical. So I go up here, I make it four, um, four steps like so. And then what I can do is I reverse it horizontally and then I apply the same up here like so. So let's play. Of course, I'm uh, exaggerating at the moment because I wanted to show you how it works. And you can continue like so. So you can open another effect slot and you can apply another effect, which is really, really nice. One thing to bear attention to is um, for the, each graph, you have different speed. As you can see, the sync uh, is changing, but for the pan amplitude, it makes the master. So if I decrease the amplitude here, it will be applied to all the different graphs in terms of modulation. So the same for mix, the same for pan as well. So try it because it has a very interesting preset um, as well, which are really, really nice. So let's try this one. What it sounds like, let's remove Eisen and let's add something uh, um, like more vocal, like so, Pipa, and let's connect it to progression. Perhaps the chords will be uh, too low, but let's try anyway. <laughs> Let's try it on drums as well, so we don't need people as well. Let's bring in a digistrick, like so. And now let's open it up. Let's set it to be driven by host to sync, and let's create a, a simple uh, uh, patterns like so, very quick, like um, uh, like so. Perhaps an open a hat. Uh, ring shot, uh, something like that. And let's uh, play and apply some uh, preset related to drums.
Okay, as you can hear, it's really, really good with drums as well. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and as always, see you next time. Bye.